Hey game devs, it's Game Dev with Drew, and today we're going to be implementing health for our enemies because we don't really want our enemies to die in one shot, unless we do. But today we're just going to implement health. So we're going to do a very simple health system, and it's just going to go along like this. So first let's go into our enemy and give it a health. So let's do uh, export uh, var health. And let's make it an int. So that's what this colon means. We you put in a colon and then you specify what type of um, variable it is, and then you can specify the amount of health. So I'm gonna do three. So it'll take three shots to kill. Next, we have to go into our bullet script. So first we have to open up our bullet scene and then we'll go into its script. And we're going to delete this because we don't want our bullet to be focusing on the killing of our enemy we want our bullet just to be part of a bullet group that our enemy will interact with so let's just delete this function and then we'll go into our node and disconnect this next we'll do a on ready not an on ready bar we're going to make a new function called which is when this game is started and we're just going to add it to a group. So uh, add to group, and then we're just going to call it bullet. Perfect. So remember what we did with groups last time on, I believe, Sunday. We used it for enemies. Um, and, and when our bullet was to interact with enemy, then our enemy would die. But... Now we're, our enemy is going to interact with the bullet group. So we're going to make a new function, a new area 2D. So area entered and connecting from here. And then remember, we can just do if area dot is in group and then bullet. We're just going to do Q underscore free for now because we just want to see if it works. So we shoot and it works. And we're actually going to go back into our bullet and um, we're going to do a funk on area and any body entered. Um, so we're going to do if uh, body.name equals player we're just going to have nothing happen we're going to pass and then else we're going to have it q underscore free because we just want our bullet to stop going after we move but our if our bullet touches our body then it, it, it will continue moving so as you can see it stops when we hit this and we just need to do on an on area entered um, with this as well so we're just going to connect the signal area 2d bullet area entered uh, Q underscore free so now when we go under here the bullet will go and it also doesn't interact with these so that's perfect if we did not have this line, um, just let me just do this quickly. Then our bullet should just, yeah, our bullet should do that, which, you know, that doesn't make good programming. So we just got to get a little workaround. And that wasn't so difficult to figure out, was it? So now that we have all that, let's make our enemy die so let's instead of q underscore free we're going to do health minus equals one and really that's all we need to do and then we're just going to print uh the enemy health we're going to print health to see if it actually goes down two one zero Negative one, negative two, boom. Okay, perfect. Now, we're going to go under process, and 
we're just gonna say if health is less than or equal to zero q underscore free and then we're also going to add score to our character uh, so auto script dot score plus equals one sorry if you can hear my dog barking um all right so now we can just shoot it three times and it dies and our score goes up by one so that's really all you need to know about how to make health on enemies thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow with my new devlog on food wars goodbye everyone